We are currently fueling up the jets today with a mana bricky because we have a mana gym sesh ahead. Going to be going into some uncharted territory. We've never been around this 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 type of weight yet, so it will be a new PR. That's what we're gunning for. That's what we're shooting for. Today is the. 19th of August, I'm not sure when you guys will see this video. It'll be before Worlds. Apparently 10 days until I fly out to Junior Worlds in Malta. Gunning for some big numbers there. Before we get the big numbers there, we got to do the big numbers in training. Before we get the big numbers in training today, we got to eat this mana feed. Two pieces of toast, eggs, egg whites, onion, beetroot, spinach, baked beans, um, pickles. I got a piece of steak, seasoned, garlic, herb and salt, and a crumpet of honey. And always the golden kiwi fruit. I'm feeling a little bit under the weather right now, which is not the greatest because I hate being sick, <laughs> but I think I'm not as sick as I would have been if I hadn't been living and eating as healthy as I have been because I definitely feel sick, but it's like a drastically dull version of how I would feel normally if I was sick. And I give that to <laughs> my mother breakfast, but also like the fruit and vegetables I've been eating, like heaps of kiwi fruit bananas apples carrots just the whole sazam man if you're not already make sure you're getting five plus a day minimum and eat fruits and vegetables that you like for example i just I, in that box back there is pineapple there were two dollars fifty of pineapple so i got five i got four of them and wait there's a lot of pineapple in the pineapple <laughs> this just must just back see grace i'd say the steak's pretty good it's still red in the middle so juicy I'd say this is probably clo quite close to what I'd like it when I'm eating steak. Maybe a little bit more crispy on the outside, but in terms of like how cooked it is on the inside, that's what I like. It's not too raw. It's actually a pretty good steak. Now I'm gonna give myself a quick little fresh shave. Just tidy up the gooty and the mustache. But I didn't used to use shaving cream. I used to just go straight with the shaver and rub my hot water on my hot water on my face and then shave it. Like I'm kind of a noob when it comes to shaving. I mean, I never really got taught properly, but I kind of figured it out myself. Using this shaver, I used to be my brother's, but he left it here and I just got like new tips. However, I've been using this one probably a bit too long because it's kind of like rips the hairs out rather than shaves it. You know, I'm pretty sure it's just to rinse it. <sighs> just shave the chest a little bit. Unused to, but I uh, grow like a, a Batman, Superman. Thing where it goes like here and then up like there. Just briefly go like this. It doesn't grow like here, here, it just grows near like that. I'll pop up a photo right there, what it looks like when I don't do it. So it's not like anything crazy, but I reckon it makes the chest gains pop out more. It's 11.03. I have work at 2 o'clock, which is just under three hours away. Plenty of enough time to smash out this massive squat session. But knowing me, I'm gonna probably somehow manage to push it last minute. I mean, if I monitor my time, especially my between my sets, should be sweet. Let's go. Cool. At least the weather's cleared up a bit. It was been pissing down the last few days. I got a little bit of a, a coffee cup for my pre-workout. Oh, how am I gonna open this door? Because normally I have it on some sort of like shaker type thing. I don't know where it is, so. That was all we had, or well, all that I could find. Free workout, guess I'm sipping on the Blue Bridge Cooked Straight Fairy. I don't know, it kind of enhances the flavor. <laughs> Anyways. Over the edge, feel like I'm floating through the air.
good, man. Bro, 280 kilos. I need a chick for dip. Now that squat's all finished off, it's currently 105. I'm gonna go warm up for rack benches because I got work at two o'clock. And then I got Bulgarian for the squat. We're only doing two sets. I reckon we can just sit out. I just need to go ASAP, man. 280 took it out of me. It was programmed 277.5, but I was like in my mind, you know what? I can get that 280 up. Even though that 267.5, there was a sticking point. I wasn't fully locked in. I didn't really have that buzz from pre-workout. Maybe it was because I was sipping in that cup, but Next Monday, we're gonna bring the sting, man. We're gonna go full balls to the wall. Bring that dog out, cause we got something heavy there. Give it everything, you know, and level up in all sorts of areas, not just one, but take things one step at a time. Because if you don't, you'll overwhelm yourself, you'll crash down, you'll be like, this sucks and it's not achievable. And you'll think of all the obstacles. Whereas if you take one step at a time, you cross those bridges when they get there, you start to tick things off. And when you tick those small ones, they add up and they not only add up to what's your bigger goal but they they provide like a sense of achievement and gives you a drive to push further david goggins kind of refers this to like a cookie jar and all his successes him when he's feeling really low he likes to reach down into his cookie jar think of all these achievements and how they made him feel to push him further when when he's completely bugging man yeah uh, enough yapping i need to warm up oh, i can't remember what height i want the rex Nah, that's... I think it is 10. You know, one thing I do fear, I'm well, not necessarily fear, but I'm very cautious about an injury. If you notice in that 280 kilo, I almost did a little wiggle and it's not the greatest. It's more of my ab and adductors firing and it's not being in control. I know like there's a few shoes that I should be doing. One is shoving my knees out and I guess having slightly wider stance would be more ideal um, and it should make it easier to hit depth but i'm not switching anything until after competition you know whenever you're building up to competition if you're like one block even two blocks out you want to be doing very little to no technical changes you're gonna mess yourself up unless it's like quite a crucial technical change that will help heaps like one i can think of say you're not arching during bench and you're quite flat like things like that basic stuff more so i didn't always squat narrow I used to squat about here fairly wide and when i did high bar when i first started and then I tried narrow and it felt like mean because I was able to spring out of the hole. However, as I build more muscle mass around my, my legs, I do need to make sure I'm having enough space so I need to go ever so slightly wider. But yeah, I'm not changing it till after comp. But also, when it comes to little flight form shatters, as long as it's not horrendous uh, when I'm doing it in my lifts, my bones, my tendons, all that, when you do strength training, your muscles aren't the only tissue that gets stronger and more resilient. Your bones, especially your bones, your tendons, and all those structures, those tissues, like they strengthen. You need to be progressive with your increases and not like massive jumps provide progressive overload, you know? But be not necessarily fully conservative. Go balls to the wall in terms of effort, like do that, but don't go balls to the wall in terms of jumping heavy weights, man. Especially if you haven't even solidified your form. Injury sucks, because if you get injured, one, most of the time you regress or decrease in your progress, you go down, then you have to rebuild it up back to baseline, and then you can finally push forward. So avoid injury, train smart, but also train hard, bro. My chest here and near my shoulder is a bit sore. So what I do is sometimes get it and then I move my, rotate my arm up and down just like this. And it usually helps.
Thank God. I'll go out for more. I just freaking stubbed my toe real bad. It is now seven o'clock, so about five hours later, and I've just got home from work and cooked up a pretty on feed, big piece of steak, mac and cheese for carbs, because I had no carbs. I wouldn't normally be potatoes. Then there's this hot dog from Domino's. I went halves with my sister because I was like, I don't need the extra, extra calories, even though I've practically already been through K calories. I'll probably get around 3.5k today and yeah and then i've got a protein shake but overall pretty stoked with how how today went with the squat bit iffy about the depth and could have been a bit more cleaner but you know overall grateful and we're just going to keep smashing it so thank you guys for watching to end if you want to see more videos make sure to hit that subscribe road to 10k and i'll see you guys in the next video